Hello YouTube. Today in this video I'm going to teach you how to make an advanced upgrade shop for skills. First, you're going to make a new event as I have done here. You're going to select a graphic. You're going to choose any person graphic. I just chose a random one. Okay, to start off you're going to make choices or, excuse me, make a new text and type in what skill would you like to learn slash upgrade you're going to press OK you're going to make a new one and show choices and you can enter in any different choice like fire water wind and earth like in my case then you're going to click OK then under fire you're going to choose show text the fire skill costs say 50 gold and you're going to put period pay OK and then under here you're going to show choices yes and no and number two make sure number two is chosen for the win cancel click OK and under yes we're going to show conditional branch and we're going to go to the fourth tab click gold change it to 50 or more and click OK and then under the first bar under the conditional branch we're going to put excuse me we're going to put change gold decrease by 50 press OK then you're going to go to change skills then you're going to change your first character and you're going to teach them fire you're going to click OK I'm going to go ahead and click apply so you don't forget to do that later ok and then under else you're going to put show text and you're going to type in you do not have enough gold and period and click OK alright when no the branch is going to be ended alright another case well in, under this you're going to put control switches and fire learn, learned click apply click OK also click OK again Okay, there's two few ways you can do this. You can make a new tab and go to conditional branch and fire learned is on. You're gonna click OK. This is the easiest way. And then whenever fire learned is on, then you can do show text. The fire to I'm sorry, I I skill costs 50 gold you can put any amount that you want and you're going to type in pay and then a question mark click OK then you're going to basically do what you just did over here so I'm going to make a new choice box yes and no another conditional branch and put make sure it costs 50 gold or more Okay, then you're going to do change gold, 50, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I changed this to plus 50. Let's change this to minus, decrease 50. Okay, next you're going to go change skills. Let's see where it is. Okay, you're going to forget fire you cannot forget to to forget 
And then you're going to forget fire, click OK. And then you're going to go to change skills one more time. You're going to learn, sorry, fire 2. And click OK. And then you're going to go to control switches, make a new switch, and call it fire 2 learned. Click apply and click OK and click OK again. Okay, and up here, if you want to, you can add a text that says you have learned the fire skill, which is what I'm going to do right here. And then you can do the same thing down here and say you have learned the fire to skill. Click OK. Alright, and then you got to make sure you put under the else on the conditional branch, you do not have enough money. Period. Okay. Now, I'm, that's all I'm going to do here because we are going to run out of time soon. So, I'm going to click apply. And just to test this, I'm going to make a new one, a new event and go with hexagram and press any random one and then whenever I press it we're going to change the gold and increase by 100 so I can test this and click apply now we're going to test the game wait for it to load oops Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm going to walk down. Let's check my money. Now I have 100 gold. Okay, now we're going to go over to my event. What skill would you like to learn or upgrade? Let's click fire. Fire skill costs 50 gold. Pay? Yes. And let's click no here. Alright, I'm going to check Ralph's skills. And I obviously have the fire skill. And now we're going to talk to them again. And we're going to click fire, fire skill. Alright. I'm sorry, I messed up here. But yeah. So now I have the fire 2 skill instead of the fire 1 skill. Whenever you do this, you got to make sure that you let's see where I messed up here oh okay I should have made another conditional branch and said when fire learned one is on let's see when fire learned one is on that it won't go back through that but that's an easy fix and we're running out of time so I guess I'll catch back up with you guys later and make my next tutorial thanks for watching